Good morning guys. So today uh, what I'm going to show you here is um, how to actually fix the blinking error code. So um, one long blink, two uh, times a short blink on the Bayang Toys X21 copter. And first of all I'm going to show you what actually is causing it. So I'm turning on the remote now. Give the whole thing power. Don't be confused, I got um, XT60 uh, connector soldered uh, to my battery and a quad, as well I have the original DJI props. Also it should quite quickly pick up GPS, because I already turned it on before. So um, yeah, it caches the GPS satellite somehow, if you do not change location. So we got a steady green light now, as you can see, and would be able to uh, actually now take off. Um, so what actually causing the problem is that um, the compass calibration fails. So what I'm going to do now is, is I entering compass calibration mode, turning right stick up in the upper corner and the left stick in the upper uh, left corner. And now we are just waiting to actually do nothing. So um, if we're going to do nothing, the compass calibration will fail in about a minute or something. And we are entering this blinking error code, and uh, this blinking error code will persist. And uh, even if you now, I'm going to show you, uh, turn off the power and turn it back on again, you will still end up with the same blinking code, and you will not be able to start. And here we go. So what you can see now, we got the blinking code, but most of you guys may fear or already have problems with. I myself also stumbled about that, and I thought the GPS model is broken because. Um, if you're going to change now location, uh, you will, won't even uh, pick up GPS anymore. So, I will now power it off, or I can also show you that uh, actually you can turn it on now, yeah, but you cannot launch. It doesn't care what you're doing. So, and sometimes you can't even stop the rotors anymore, as I currently can. So, I have to be a bit careful now. Yep, didn't hurt myself. So, all right. So, turning off the remote on and off again. Uh, on and off, sorry. <laughs> Giving some power again and showing you guys the blinking error. So, and we're, yeah, in the blinking error mode again. So we're receiving two shorts one long, or maybe if you read it the other way, it's one long, two shorts, all the time. Um, as I did not change location, as I said before, I still pick up GPS on the, um, here on the uh, remote control. And also some of, guy, of you guys are asking why it's rapidly, uh, rapidly flashing all the time. This is when the transmitter actually picked up um, the GPS. You can see also that that GPS light is flickering on the remote control. And if you look uh, in the, uh, beneath the left stick, you can see a green steady light and a blinking blue light if there is GPS. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. So what we're going to do now is, um, yeah, of course, we, if we try to start, we cannot start. I was fast enough to turn it off again. Um, yeah, I can show you guys again. If I'm trying to start, nothing will happen. But after, yeah, <laughs> trying to start, yeah, it failed again. So, oops, being careful to stop it again. Okay, powering it up again. So, this time I will also close the hatch already because I will show you now how to fix it. So, and also start it, of course. So we're in the blinking arrow mode again. One short, short, long, short, short. So we are entering GPS calibration, uh, compass calibration mode again. And this time we're picking up the quad about waist high, very important, and start turning it clockwise once, twice, three times. So and nose down and again once twice and we're going three times placing it up again so and tada we got as you can see steady lights now on the quad 
got our GPS locked, so we can now turn on the motors. And yeah, start! <laughs> So, uh, some additional comments about the calibration for uh, the compass and the gyro. Um, I just uh, scanned the manual for you again. Um, so, how to do the um, compass calibration, I just showed it in the video. Um, or here again, just uh, three clockwise turns um, and three nose down clockwise turns. But um, please do that um, standing upright and about having the quad in about one meter height. You do not need to calibrate the compass each time you fly, only if you change your location, maybe between 30-50 uh, kilometers, maybe something like that. That's my personal experience. Um, regarding the gyro calibration, here's also the manual instruction. You basically just um, do the sticks the other way around, so um, right uh, stick is in the uh, right lower corner and left stick is in the upper left corner. Um, I personally do this every time. You simply do it um, while the quad is on the ground, do the calibration. It takes a little bit longer to kick in regarding or in, in comparison to the compass calibration. But my personal experience is um, if you do the gyro calibration, it will help to reduce the TBE or toilet bowling effect. So good luck with your uh, calibration steps and hopefully you could fix your blinking error. Um, if you have any questions left, just leave them in the comments. Thanks!